Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kiara. This is Leah. And this is Solo. And you're listening to He Said, We Say It. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Where did that come from? <laughs> did y'all okay. see that? <laughs> did y'all see that meme where it's like, I don't think I have a country accent until yeah. I hear it back? Mm-hmm. That was That's what that, that was. was but I heard live it in the <laughs> Live in effect. <laughs> Um, shout out to y'all. I guess that was my inner Paula Dean coming out because I was a uh, oh. uh, bacon <laughs> last night. Okay. Um, call me Ina Garden, Paula Dean, mm. Sandra Lee, whoever. Okay, we got some semi homemade cooking happening. Semi- I made a Meyer lemon cake. Mm-hmm. Um, it's semi because it came from a box. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Trader okay. Joe's. Uh, as I was mixing the batter, something told me, just just try this. Mm-hmm. We needed some extra loving. So that's where the homemade. Some more vanilla in. extract. And I added my own thing, some lemon. Come on now. You know, the frosting, same thing. I looked at the instructions. I was like, mm, I don't normally put butter in this type of ice. Mm-hmm. Let me just. Okay, so you really did out, modify it. Up. So I did. I modified it, and um, it's not bad. So I brought some for you guys. Is this Man, you? I was the you Kiki in the building. I was waiting for you to say it's good. No, I mean you haven't I, had it. I think that for what it is, how I mixed it, it is good. I probably could have added more sugar to the batter. I didn't add any sugar to the batter, so I probably could have done more with that. But I mean, it's a it's a quick box cake. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients per the instructions. Oh, okay. So okay. it's, you know, you got the stuff in the house already nine times out of 10. It is what it is. Do I have mm-hmm. to buy it again? Probably not. I do think if I added like a blueberry situation to this, it probably would have really banged. Mm. So like add fresh blueberries to the batter and then maybe okay. do like a blueberry lemony glaze. Mm-hmm. I think that that would really like set it off. So now is this you getting into the season? <laughs> well, lemon, I would say, is more spring summer. Okay. I actually had this mix in the pantry for a few months, so okay. it's time to just like get it out of sight. Well, you know, the holidays are coming up, and I thought maybe you were just in a baking spirit, and you know, maybe you're gonna be, you know, doing some fall baking. My bad. The problem it's with the- baking yeah. is someone's got to eat it. Uh, yeah. Living by myself, mm, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be me. Hence, why I. <laughs> Pretty Can much we gave you guys talk chocolate. about things we're not gonna do again? Um, and I'm talking about insomnia cookies. Oh, what are those? Mm. Um, so okay, the cookies were so good. So now apparently we were in Philly. Philly. Like, I we thought gave you got you, some. We gave you cookies that day. You remember? Oh, that? they were hidden. Good. Yes. Yes. yes, they were so good. So yeah, that one cookie. Yeah. Yes. So I ordered from DoorDash. Now I am a fan of DoorDash. There are a lot of people against it. I am a, a member. Facts. I'm sorry that Dash me, passed Dash me. passed me, please. Every month, please. Yes. <laughs> like, um, but no, so I saw it on there for the first time and I'm like, oh, this must be a new location. Yeah. And he said I had not seen an insomnia cookies before. Now, apparently they got some kind of agreement with DoorDash that they're gonna supply their own couriers. Do not order from DoorDash. Ever. Yikes. For, Ever for, for, them? for insomnia? For insomnia, you're or saying? Just, I'm going to say you're losing for your insomnia. Fast now? Okay. Because, or I guess any other restaurant that has their own thing, like we're going to do our own courier thing, because you don't get real updates. You can't complain to DoorDash. You have to call them. Mm-hmm. Like, it's horrible. Any any problem I've ever had with DoorDash, I call customer service. They refund me very quickly. Yes. And that's it. This, uh, I, it can't even, you on it. I can't even connect with them. No. Oh, I think we gave you like Old Mill Raven. Yeah, oh, we God. know you like the Old Mill <laughs> Raven. Like yeah, it was like chocolate chip. chip. So like, no, no, I, I am not no chocolate chip person. Oatmeal, I thought you just had an chocolate extra. chip. You like yes. oatmeal. Do you? I do like oatmeal. Okay. But we know you. I'm saying if it wasn't the oatmeal, it wasn't a chocolate chip cookie. Yes, we were saying oatmeal chocolate chip. Okay. Well, that thing was in. 
You know what? I'm, you know what? When we write, good. I'm about to be loud and right. No, 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 no. no. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that couldn't have been the case. I'm just saying whatever it was that y'all brought was good. So I'd like that cookie again. Dang. Yeah. So if it was the oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, cool. You know? They definitely have both, right? I, I looked at the menu when we were talking. <laughs> They definitely have oatmeal chocolate chips. I think you yes. Have one. Okay. Okay. See, and I thought I saw oatmeal raisin too, but no, oatmeal chocolate chip for I sure. I did raisin. see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I will be checking that out. I had been wanting an insomnia to come to Texas uh, for the longest. It's really just been on the East Coast or along mm-hmm. the East Coast. So um, we'll see how they do compared to Tiff's treats. I wonder if that's gonna Ooh. shake the table a little bit. Yeah. No. Oh. So we have complained about crumble. Um, really, I had some crumble this week. I was like, um, the raspberry one was, was hidden. Was well, they it? even had a peanut butter one that was hidden. I, I, okay, I was so I was satisfied. So you like somebody, it. one of my coworkers' boyfriend had sent a big box of cookies for her to the job. So yeah, y'all share it. And <laughs> now explain the raspberry one. Was there icing? Was it like it was like a raspberry? Or? I don't want to call it a sauce, but like a raspberry spread. On top of uh, it was like a jam almost. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So, so not the frosting, like hard frosting. No, 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 no. Yeah. But I only had like literally a corner. Hmm. So that's like, all okay. you need to be able to determine if the cookie is good or not. Unfortunately, I bought a whole cookie. And but you like, said crumble it wasn't hidden. No, I crumble do not. Wasn't hidden. I don't get the hype. Mm-mm. Not uh-huh. yet. It's the pink boss, y'all like. That's a, that's. What I, <laughs> like I, said, I, I mean, never... the, the cookies are pretty, but yeah. I needed to be pretty good. All of it. It wasn't. Yeah. So compare. So I was thinking about that, and someone was asking me like how I would compare that, and I like Tip Streets. I was like, I would definitely prefer Tip Streets over whatever it is that Crumble is doing. Yeah. But then you know that is that my my fucking sugar cookie <laughs> from Tips. Oh, they do have a good. Sugar Ooh, Honestly, you I'm warm not, that thing up a little bit. I don't do their specialty <laughs> cookies. I. You just I, get chocolate chip. Chocolate or don't they have like a white macadamia sugar. one? I don't get that either. Oh, okay. no. That chocolate chip. <laughs> 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 hey, I mean, because they're, n- well, maybe I don't know the full menu. It's nothing extravagant, nothing crazy. It's just a simple, good, hot cookie. Shit, that motherfucker could be hidden. But Y'all, we've been talking about cookies. Nothing exotic. Days. Nothing exotic. Sorry. Uh, we'll bake goods, mm. period. Um. But final right. thing, go to Michael's cookie jar, y'all. Okay. Where's Michael's cookie jar? I was like, wait. Where's that? You brought this up. <laughs> I know. I know. It's me. It's me. Um, there's one in the uh, Bel Air. What is that area that's like Buffalo West Speedway U? in um, West Park? Is that West What is West that U? area called? Maybe not that's Buffalo. That's not West Westland. I guess it's still Bel Air. Or, like no, that's like Westland, on the back side of where Westland, you used to stay. Yes. Westland, what is that? Bel Air? I, that's Bel Air. Yeah. Okay. Then there's a location there, and then there's another one on Fountain View near um, San Felipe. Okay. Um, amazing. Amazing cookies. Okay. Michael's uh, Cookie Jar. Gotcha. Yeah. So let's talk about some things that's been happening in the world. We saw that there was a huge devastation in Florida with Hurricane. Is it Ian? Is it Ian? Ian, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. Um, there was quite a bit of damage. There were people that were trapped. I don't know what the current death toll is. I want to say I had heard two, but this was like Wednesday or Thursday, whenever like most of the storm had kind of passed. And then of course it was expected to rise. So I'm unfortunately sure it probably has since then. Mm -hmm. Um, Did you guys get to check out any of footage? I think that's the, well, see, that's the thing, right? Um, (laughs) It seemed like, and not saying that Twitter is where I go for my news, but it seemed like everything that was posted was like it was either a joke or no, this isn't the real footage or, I you know, like a shark, tell. shark yeah. in the water. I couldn't tell either. You man. know, it's I'm just bad. like somebody was hitting a, a a bowl or a dap, you know, in the middle of the hurt. I'm like, OK, some people, people out here creating the Michael Jackson. Um, what's the name? Didn't of that even song? have to open it up. Uh, to the know Earth song happening. to yeah. know it was that one. That's. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, saw was there really a walrus? No, that was that you was know? a walrus. But I looked, and apparently that was in like South America. Okay, I was like, Florida. yeah. So um, then there was a footage where there was what kids walking on like these benches or planks in the the water that was, was cool. up. Somebody said that wasn't even Florida. That was uh, somewhere else, See, but that's Texas the or something. Years back, something. So <laughs> why are we so embarrassing? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> that just shows you how quick fake news can get out there. 
No, I but, saw uh, somebody jumping off a car, like flipping into the into the water. I was like, okay. When people lost. Oh, power. I did see that with some kids. Yes, yeah, I'm kids. just like. I don't know if it's real or not. Florida. But, if, but if it's in Florida, like I the first thing I'm thinking about are gators. I we talked about this in our chat, but like, no, yeah. thank you. I don't want to be in nobody's water, period, because that's gross. There's mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff in that thing. You're definitely not going to see me voluntarily jump into that. Yeah. I will say this. I will say this. If it were a choice to be caught in a natural disaster. I think I would kind of take my chances with the flood. Okay. I'm Out sorry. of all of them? Out of all of them. I think if I had to pick. I'm not saying is, I want to be in the middle of the where, right, worst case. Right. I want to be able to like okay. Solomon. You, you got to go. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'll okay. take my chances of survival in the flood. I think if I had to choose one, and this is coming from someone who has not experienced this, but I think I would maybe do an earthquake. I was going to say a very um, mild. No, no, no. You can't turn <laughs> that. I need, I need a devastating We earthquake. need, yes, we need. Oh, well, I don't want it to be devastating. No, I'm I mean, thinking it'd be a little not, three not, seconds. Not on some. <laughs> little shake. Yeah, not on some. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> what was the not on, some, what was not on some 2012 or whatever that movie was, the destruction of the earth. But like, yes, yeah, something that's manageable to survive. Right? Something manageable to survive, but it feels We're like. We're not talking about a 1.0 on the Richter. Yeah. Yeah, that would be quick. The flood, those boys, they were out of power or out of Wi-Fi or whatever it was for a good three days. It gave me um, what what do we have out here? Yuri, the winter thing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't the power have grid and all that. Everything like we didn't have access to anything. It didn't felt like thank God it's not like freezing or extremely hot there because mm -hmm. that just would have gave me all the trauma from what we experienced. Yeah, yeah. like. I don't know. That felt like survival. Yeah. Survivor. And then too with like flooding or water in general. I don't know. In my head, if I live somewhere where there's earthquakes, particularly in like the States, typically the housing is structured in a way where it can like survive. Unless this is just like some crazy magnitude, right? Mm -hmm. With flooding, like, you got to worry about your car. You know, if you have other people with you, animals, whatever, you need to make sure that they all are somewhere where it's somewhere dry. Mm -hmm. You know, your home, that, you know, when the water does recede, you got to yeah. rip the carpets and change the Hopefully you got flood and, insurance and da, 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 You know, da, da. it's just... So you're yeah. already planning to survive it. Okay. What do you mean? I don't know. Well, so, what about tor what about, about tornadoes? Zoom, that thing come through and just. Now my house is gone. Now, well, I as someone who has had to live through tornadoes, ain't no ripping that the carpet for that. You said that's what? really ain't no ripping back the carpet or nothing. You gotta okay, demolish. Okay, so you're saying like at least there's something. Yeah. To come back to. Yeah. Despite the work. Or what? Um, the fires. Oh, no, I'm definitely not trying to do no fire. That's probably one of the last ones I'm Like a do. wildfire. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Because that's, that's completely like, man, you don't know where it's going now. You don't you know, know where it's going. Smoke is an mf -er. I, Look, I burned my face with the flat iron today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I ain't trying to be nowhere near some fire, okay? Yeah. And like, if you really have inhaled smoke smoke, oh, man. That's that how uh, yeah. Mr. Pearson died. I was, yeah. I was going but there. But like... Next. That shit is that hit him later. Yeah, wasn't even they, thought, they thought he was good. Mm -hmm. You thought you went back good. to have a snicker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, <laughs> full circle. We go back in full circle. Okay. I forgot. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but you know, thought, thought thoughts and prayers no, go definitely. out to um. If somebody was severely impacted, for sure. Yeah. 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 Did y'all hear about the football player? Uh, he was a former Dallas Cowboy player. Apparently, he went rock climbing and. He passed away from rock climbing. What? I don't know. White guy, tight end or something like something that. Like I didn't that. I think see the Latino. full story. Oh, he was Latino. Okay. I think. But um, yeah, he I just kept out? seeing. I don't. Whoever he was with passed away, too. OK. So, so they I, I don't know how this happened. There weren't very many details in the article, but like he was art. Well, in his early 30s and. Yeah, apparently they had a call and they found him and there was a woman with him as well and they fell. I, I don't know. I'm assuming they weren't strapped. I don't know. They said that the they harness broke raining. or something. I don't know. Oh I don't know. But 
that is very very scary so stuff like that like mount, even mountain climbing mm-hmm. so i'm assuming we're talking real life yeah. like real life rock climbing or bouldering or whatever it is that they where you have that to like and, you're just, ooh, 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 and plug yourself into the the rock i don't know the difference in that versus <laughs> like just just scaling a wall or going i don't know like all the terminology there but all of it is scary i've done the indoor stuff where like the rock climbing on the yeah yeah. the regular rock climbing like where you're not like trapped like yeah or whatever Mm -hmm. i'm not going up that high there either i couldn't see 36 year old me doing that Hmm. how old was he yeah he was like 30 31 oh Mm. 31 maybe but said no 36 yeah 30 he was 30 or like you know how those people they're like, oh, we're gonna do Mount Everest. No. Nah. That can't be a desire, or it's not a desire of mine. Mm-mm. I'm mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not yeah. only is it up there, but then you talk about the cold. Yeah. But I feel like, and this may be like, I have random memories of those, like, I wanna say maybe like Dateline or those random shows of people that like, got trapped like in mountains and didn't get weren't found for like days or like they had to survive frostbite yeah like how did they survive over this and all those like documentaries and stories and it's just that is ingrained in my mind it's like last thing i'm gonna ever do in my life is right put myself in a position to where that could even happen that is not on the list yeah never doing you know (laughs) only way that'll happen is if the plane goes down over there (laughs) you know you're not getting me to land over there (laughs) you know what i'm saying well that reminds me i saw this video on twitter there was a guy who i don't even know what they call them is it minors basically they oh, go minors. through like yeah, yeah, very yeah. tight small spaces for what reason i don't know for coal right they mining for coal well i think i don't think he's even trying to get coal. i think he's just yeah. like this is what he likes but like he at one point is kind of stuck and so he has to like just start mm. carving away the encaving so that he can kind of get mm-hmm. through and for me it's just like no where do you get out yeah. of this that I think is when my claustrophobia would come into play. There's absolutely no you know? way to yeah. be able to do that, and it's dark. dark. You don't know what's in there. No, and, and, you know, don't let it be in no tunnel with some rats or some, you know. Yeah. What's next? No way. No. Yeah. What am I hitting? Mm-mm. Well, let's talk about some TV. Oh, Have you guys been watching the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, thing? No. I saw one episode and a bit of a second episode. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was good, but I'm like, people really like shit like this. They like to, it's the suspense of, you know, all right, when is he going to like, you know, jump on him? What is he going to do? Is he going to run? Is he going to catch him? It's like the build up to that. It's just like some people enjoyed this feeling I and like can't. watching stuff like this. But it's too yeah, for me, I'd be like, <laughs> somebody could do that to me. So yeah, I mean, like, it this not, is not even fiction. This is like real. it's not fiction. And that's the part that would get me every yeah. time watching this. Like even I forgot who I was talking to about this, but like those Lifetime movies where it's just like the scariest thing. Yeah, like, Stalker. Yeah, based yeah. on true story next. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. No. Somebody Crazy. was in her yeah. house with her. How did she next? Because they're really, well, I mean, obviously the movies. I mean, these are real people in real life. There are real stalkers out there. Right. And, yeah. Um, people, they were murdered. They were lured back to the apartment. And although it seems creepy, right? Because the, the footage or the first episode, he just seems like a creep. Why the fuck are you going back to that apartment? But then I'm guessing you got some drinks, you know, some, some drugs, sedatives. So, yeah. But I'm like, there's some people that can not appear to be creepy that will get you back and yeah we see yeah. stories all the time that ain't my shit. what was it ted burgundy? ted crew ted i mean not bundy bundy, bundy. 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 Rob burgundy, burgundy but i said ted cruz yeah ted bundy ted bundy, <laughs> ted bundy. Uh, ted bundy. Uh, very you know i think about that too and now like seeing somebody super charming it's like I'm sociopath idea. I got my eye out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, tr- I actually tried to watch it and literally within 30 seconds, I turned it off. I was like, I can't right. do it. And, but I did this morning. And actually. then like the cops, it's like. What? So you saw the first episode, first episode? I'm no, I, I turned it off after 20 okay, seconds. Never mind. Because <laughs> one dude was like, ah, trying to flag down the cops. Like, hey, you know, this dude tried to kill me. This motherfucker tried to. And they're just like, oh, you know, can we come inside and do, do, do. And it's like, you know, that suspense of them not finding anything. And I'm like, if I was around, like, nigga, check. You know, I would have been, I don't know. These movies are 
They're movies. Well, when I watched I was like, it, that's no way that that's how it got played no, in real life. No, it is. Because when I watched this morning, it was a old, um, what's the, dun -dun 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 -dun, is that, what's that Nightline special? When Dateline. It, I mean. Dayline. Thank you. It was from like 93. So at mm -hmm. this point, Jeffrey's already arrested. I think it's been two years since he had been like convicted or okay. caught one of the two. So um, there, he's being interviewed and he's very candidly talking about some of the stuff that he did there's no real emotion but it's, it's very matter of fact and in one of the stories they expose the fact that there was a 14 year old boy who was out in the streets running naked with blood on him mm -hmm. and he had escaped from jeffrey mm -hmm. somebody called the cops yeah in back. some kind of way jeffrey convinced the cops that they were just <laughs> doing their thing, having fun or whatever, the cops returned the boy to Jeffrey and Jeffrey murdered him. Like, that shit is scary as yeah. hell. Like, yeah. 14 years old. And there was a couple of minors that he killed. Like, it's sick. I don't yeah. I don't know how people can watch that. Like, the yeah. whole thing. The whole, y'all don't get nightmares? Somebody was like, oh yeah, you just watch it during the day. Yeah. I will remember that oh, yeah. all day. <laughs> and then it's <laughs> like, <laughs> it yeah, it's day. like, there's episode, epi there's like what, 10 episodes? I don't know if I could do 10, uh, 10 episodes of that. Well, you okay. You only seen like one or two. Okay, but no, I, knowing what it is, I cannot, I don't, I, I can't do it. to start it. Yeah. And every time mm. I go to Netflix, like the first thing, like, yeah, yeah. turn the, <laughs> the music, yes. the loud, yeah. Yeah. I but you know, it. I was at the movies and I saw a preview for, um, Harvey Weinstein movie. Oh God! It's like for what? But look, people was complaining with R. Kelly, like y'all don't do it for Harvey, and y'all don't do these documentaries. Oh, look, he got a full motion picture. But I didn't even want to see out. that, you know. Now, a piece and, and, of yeah, 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 yeah. Be able to watch. I could sit through that one. This is a movie. They're bringing Hollywood out, and you know they've got the lines and the. <laughs> I can sit through that before watching him watching somebody Jeffy kill, kill a whole bunch of people. I think I could over. too. But this it's is October. October. This is fall. Your favorite season, Halloween. Don't y'all like scary about? stuff like that? Yeah, uh, no. I love Halloween. I love okay, Halloween. But you. when did <laughs> Halloween one, become? This, this, wait, wait, wait. When wait, did Halloween no, become scary? When did Halloween become officially like associated with horror? Like I think Wait. for me, when I think of Halloween, since, since the beginning, no, since I think the ghost Casper. When I think of Halloween, I don't think about serial killers. You don't think of uh, Thirteen Ghosts. <laughs> I, I think uh, of Halloween. You don't Cat. remember that movie? Okay. Well, y'all thinking of Jason, Switching. Freddy Krueger, The okay. Omen, okay. Uh, fucking. <laughs> There's uh, levels. The There's Poltergeist. Levels. What okay. was that shit? Yes, yeah, say that. I agree. That's probably like levels, come on now. Always. This is this is what it is. People like that scary. I stuff. like pumpkins. I like. You know that mm -hmm. the most I typically do when it comes to scary is a haunted house. No, no, that's fair. I, I enjoy a good haunted house. I, I will. You say like that. horror? You can. No, I, what? I thought that you will sit and watch scary movies. I, no, 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 no. Okay, so I don't like the typical uh, scary movies. Like if it's something different, like a new kind of uh, a new kind of horror. Like for instance, when Saw came out, just something mm -hmm. different, scary. You so know. When I say I that. I don't even, I don't do scary mm, like that. period. Like something suspenseful, like, um, what, Fifth Sense when it came out? Sixth, Sixth Sense. Sense. Well, sorry. That, that is a good movie, but that still but, scares me to this day. Yeah, That's I like wild. stuff I like that. Yeah. Don't give me I no bloody that. murder, you know, kill, kill, um, like the it. exorcist, Demons, you know, come on I don't now. like none you of that what? kind of stuff. What was that? What was that? The Ring. The ring coming out the TV. That scared me. My so parents like, were watching that. I remember watching that and I was like, okay, I'm going to try to watch it. <laughs> These people that tell me watch stuff during the day. I watched it during the day. Terrified. Mm -hmm. I had nightmares for many nights Terrified. after that. Yeah. That is the only scary movie that I can recall that I watched. Uh -huh. And I was just like, I'm not watching it. Like, and see, movie like, movie the now. man Why? ego in me is like, mm, I'll watch a scary movie, you know? But then it's <laughs> like, Really, the idea of being scared and like, and I'm jumpy, fun? you know. I, mm. No, I actually. No. That's me. <laughs> I guess. dated someone that I'll enjoys be... scary movies, and it was just a thing. Like, okay, what's no, I can't do mm -hmm. that. I sat through something on Netflix, and I was just like, "Why do people? Why are we watching this?" Yeah, I'm watching this. And just complain. I'm definitely the closed right as it is, girl. Yeah, like, tell me, tell me when squeeze the squeeze is like. Yeah. I can't. I can't oh my god! It. Don't. You gonna take me to the theater? Yeah. Oh, I'm not even going. 
I think yeah, because you know, if I got some popcorn, I'm, <laughs> I'm tossing that motherfucker. You know, <laughs> you I'm jumping. Because how do you not do I that with salt? Like, I just, <laughs> because it wasn't like jumpy scary. You know, I don't like shit like that. So you like to be slowly scared. You like the suspense. I like, you don't I like a little, surprise. They not saw body parts on? What was Saw about? Yeah, Saw was about like the little contraptions and things that they had to like, you know. Do or go through to. You know, harm themselves to get out of or they die type shit. You know, which I, I, like I said, I'm here for new creative horror things. But when it comes to just, you know, a murderer's on the loose stab scream. Oh, man, that shit fucked me up as a kid. <laughs> but I don't get a kick out of those. What I Some will, people love that, though. I will say. I enjoy American Horror Story, and it took me a while to get on the train. Shout out to my sister, Kayla. I think she convinced me to watch it. This, at this point, I think maybe season two or season three. Where are we on? on? Season seven now? Oh, past that. I think they are like season 11 or something. Something. Before. At this Damn, point, 11? it's just really corny. But in the first like three or four seasons, yeah, they it, was, the like, first it three. was a good mix of humor mm -hmm. and like scare horror yeah. or whatever. So I think for me, I was able to like be okay with it because the humor was just, it was just well written too. Like, mm -hmm. I think y'all convinced me to watch the witch season. And it was good. Which one was that? <laughs> I you liked no, no, it. the third season. No, <laughs> I, well, the fourth coming. season. I can't remember one of the seasons. I was convinced to watch it, and I was, and it wasn't a good season. So, what was the I first wondered, not good season? Was that four? I think the first not good was four. I okay, think that, that was, was the one I, I came that in. Was that wasn't the circuit. carnival, was it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I, was, I haven't I, even seen that one. I haven't even. seen I was that just one. like, uh, no, you. This you is what y'all was. Season three, one through three are the best, but okay. three is my favorite. It has Angela Bassett. I thought she's in all them hoes. She's in the ones that are, are good. revolving coven. So uh, after the third, I think that's their most revered see, I don't season. Even know none about and this. so they have done like spinoffs of the third season, and that's when she reappears. Okay. Yeah. So her Kathy Bates, it takes place in New Orleans. New Orleans. It's about witches, but they're good witches. Well, uh -huh. Most of them. Um, and it's just funny. Like Jessica Lang and um, what's the girl that I like? She's in all with them. <laughs> What? The the she was the forehead. Uh, oh, on the on, on the, the circus. Yeah, yes, yes. okay. I we know I've Evan seen this Peterson, shit. Evan Peterson, Emma yeah, Roberts, like Evan Peterson is the guy who plays Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer. Okay. Um. So yeah, if you guys haven't watched um American Horror Paulson. Story, Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Like yes, her. that's her. I like her. Yeah, um, I like her. She can act. She can, she act. can act. And she has some range. So, yeah, season one through three of American Horror Story, but definitely season three is like chef's kiss. Okay. I'm going to say this, and hopefully one of you all can vouch or whatever, but Handmaid's Tale. I never was able to What the that. fuck is that? I, don't know <laughs> I thought this whole time it was some milkmaid woman with the big hats and they're living in like, uh, what was that? Back M. Night in Shyamalan, the village like days. Like and Scarlet Letter. <laughs> I thought it was something like that. Then I'm looking at this shit. It's like modern. They okay. killing folks. And I'm like, what the fuck I is this? Crazy. I started watching it and something happened. I just never went back. Not that I didn't like it. I just. What is it about? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. But apparently it's relevant to what's happening today with like women's rights to choose. See, I, and I thought we were in the old times or something. But OK. I, I thought maybe no, one of you all no, saw it, but I was looking at it like, damn. That and saying, do I like, need what is this, to... The Handmaid's Tale? Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, do I need to start this? Um, no, I I can't remember. But y'all, okay, y'all didn't vouch for it. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I can't speak to that. What I can speak for, though, is Sex and the City, because I have been watching <laughs> it for months. Finally finished it, watched the uh, two movies. Oh, two, okay. Yeah, the second one was a wash. They didn't even, I don't even know why they wasted their time with that. Um, Trying to cash in? That's really what 100%. it was. And if that motherfucker would have popped, oh, good, right? we need to keep it going. What? Because the first one was good. The first people one was, liked it. I think the first one was good for what it was, but honestly, they probably didn't have to do that either. So, but they did that. Wasn't nah, it like not significantly money. Come after, on but it was after, right? Like people. Yeah, it was after it was, the show it was, it was like done. Significantly after the show. Yeah, it was like, like four like, years after the show. Yeah, so people were kind of missing it. So they There was oh, closure like, on the right. on the first movie. Right. So okay. yeah. And they didn't have to go back and they did not because honestly the yeah. second movie 
in my opinion, had nothing to do with anything. Like most of it took place in like Abu like Dhabi or something like that. Yeah. yeah, it was just it was a waste of time. But I'm sure they cashed those checks. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were fat checks for most of them. Um, and so mm, yeah. I just finished the series in just like that um, yesterday. There's ten episodes. That's the spinoff of Sex in the City minus Samantha. Um, yeah, it's I I felt committed. <laughs> like to this like I had to see it through and finish it but I just felt Thank like you. bless you because there was so much flack that they received from the series of it not being enough like black people on there or anybody that mm-hmm. wasn't white and mm-hmm. like there was whatever else it seemed like they tried to touch everything with this wow. new series like we gotta touch on LGBTQ we gotta I hate touch it when they do that but Grey's Anatomy folks. does that Ooh, they touched on COVID. Say that, but oh my god, they touched on you know guns losing. Fi- did they touch on gun violence? I don't remember that. They but they did touch School on shooting. like you know midlife crisis mm-hmm. and you know you have children that are sexually active and how do you deal with that and then trans children. I mean, it was so much. It didn't feel genuine, and so for me, I'm just like. Ugh. We really didn't need this series. Mm-hmm. But that's the part that kind of sucks because very similar, you brought up uh, Grey's Anatomy already. Will and Grace did the same thing whenever they came back. And it was like the first episode was just like, oh my God, we get it. <laughs> like, we fucking get it. Marvel doing that now and kind of getting backlash uh, for that. So dang, Yeah, well, the series itself is pretty good. I'm not mad at the binge of the show, like the original show, um, even the first movie, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just like... Man, y'all gotta do better. Oh damn, right. that's what you got from second. That's what we got. Yeah, okay. y'all gotta do better. Y'all been y'all been showing showing who y'all showing are. Showing your ass. Wow, I need y'all to let's, let's turn around. Yeah, let's let's do some evolve. Ooh, <laughs> you know what? No, we're not doing this. What? We're not doing this. <laughs> not doing this is not doing this. Yeah, <laughs> y'all better saying. evolve from the caveman days. You better stop. The reason I said that is because a lot of the things that she was watching. When are we going to get a male show? Huh? I told you Love Life. No, Love man. Love Life season two. You watched it, didn't you? But that's different. Love Life is about literally the one guy. I'm talking about y'all got y'all four women in the city and niggas but ain't don't, shit. Don't they, didn't Tyler Perry Where do we go get the show? four yes, brothers? It's called, I don't want a black, called, like, don't black, 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 the brothers. I don't, want, I don't want no shit like that. The wood. I, it Boys in the hood. Don't y'all got See, it? Not, 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 come on now. Range. That is not. No, 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 no. no. The war is not. Okay, see. No, stop. Stop it, okay? <laughs> y'all remember Brothers Garcia? I'm talking about y'all got Run the Girl. <laughs> y'all got Run the World. Y'all got Harlem. Y'all got all this shit. But I don't want it cheesy you know like that. You know what the problem is? Y'all not supporting Brothers on BT Plus. That's what it is. Look, Issa came out with that and the women flocked to insecure. insecure. Oh my God, we needed something like this. We haven't seen this since XYZ. Yeah. Now people say, oh, girls like that. Mm-hmm. Y'all not flocking to your shows. You know why? Because y'all watching the game. Y'all sports. watching the sports. <laughs> yeah. Y'all so, wanna, so, I so, see. So, I want to see some women Put it in a slot. Give me a, give no, me no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 you do not. <laughs> There's a market for that. We ain't touching that. You do not, do you do not you want to see that. What's the view equivalent for sports? Because y'all not watching that. Y'all not. I'm watching four brothers going through and playing women all day. Why do they have to be playing women? Because they got to be real. No, 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 no. It can be real, but also it doesn't have to be the stigmas. (laughs) (laughs) All I'm saying is it could be it could be a nice positive thing for, you know, that is an untapped market. And I do think that a show of an insecure for men could be good. I mean, men obviously enjoyed Insecure, but it was from the woman's point of view. Right. Yeah. We had a show from the male's point of view that was like a love life. Which I still feel like that was for y'all. I enjoyed Love Life. No, 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 no. Season one? And, no. Oh, season two. I do See, think I that, don't that was think for season y'all. Two was... His whole circle. I thought it could have I, I thought it could have just been for the He's he has I his... thought that was just for black people, period. I I think that men could have like a But I ate it up. A better written I ate it up for them though. I think, I think that there so is a way too. for okay. it to be centered around So something. they can do Love Life. So they can do love life. So they can have something like that that and make it a series. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, it doesn't have to be four black guys. 
maybe three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But just realistic. It don't even have to be black. I mean, look, this isn't supposed to be for me. So I'm just adding my two cents, what? I guess. No, it I'm could be for no, you. Obviously, I would watch it. But I'm saying, like, I don't necessarily want a man telling me what women want to watch. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying mm -hmm. for me to also enjoy it. I think well, that, like, you we'd know, have he has women, we'd have women writers on the show. I mean, that's fine, but I'm, mm. I guess what I'm getting at you is make it seem on like it'll Love be, Life, it wasn't yeah. all just black. Like, one of his friends was yes, not yes, black, yes, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. like, you know, the main BFF was, but, like, I guess for me, like, the entire cast doesn't have to be like that. No. Like, just, but give us the black point of view and make it, like, it seems like black people are in the writer's room. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, I'll enjoy it. I ate up Love Life. Season I one and up. two. I, season one and season two. I definitely preferred season one. Whoa. I like that it was, it was, uh, I don't know, it blended, but not necessarily like the exact same thing or following the exact yeah. same person, but like had a light kind of like, okay, we, we see the connection throughout the whole thing. Um, but I'd I enjoyed them both. I enjoyed them both and I preferred the first one to the second. I'm ready for see. Is there gonna be a season three? But who would I, they I do? Who would they do? I mean, like, would you do like maybe they for do Hispanic? The would it be uh, you know, something for the LGBTQ? Would it be something like all right, an old ass nigga? <laughs> you know, a nigga in his fifties. Sister, maybe. they do the season two guy's sister. Remember, she was a lesbian. Uh, maybe they show her, or maybe they show his ex wife. There could be. I think that I there think are options few. in that show. To so you think that it have to be okay. you're talking about, or the yeah. friend? Remember the friend uh, that so got the business, with the ex? They got back with the ex. Him. Yeah, because he was too, talking about. I think he's about, too busy for it, though. Maybe. Too busy for the show. You're talking about the actual actor or the the guy? Yeah, because wasn't he on Succession? Oh, I don't know. I'm still. He was on so Succession. Did I tell you, I started. You started I was on episode ten or something. But it's it's it's. It's something, right? Yeah, it, there are parts where I'm like, all right, uh, I think I am. It's too much lingo yeah. and jargon and it's over my head a little bit, you know, with the media and all that. But but you know what I was reconnected with recently and I just realized this was a really great show. What? Suits is great, man. I really loved y'all some Suits. I really did. I tried. I it tried. It was so You good. didn't like it at all? I think I just have to You did it for Meghan Markle. With no, I think you guys were really okay. saying that it was good. I don't. Well, think you know, I was straight in law school, so I was like, okay, mm -hmm. a law school show. It was, it was cool. I think for me, I just have to accept that I'm just not that girl with with the suits and the successions and the billions and whatever. Mm, see, like it's just billions. not. I I want to be a it part of that, fine. but I just. Sometimes it's just a little too much for me to stay focused. Yeah, I get distracted. And that, that's the problem. Like, don't don't have your phone be texting back or someone's calling. Like, you have to be focused in. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I struggle with. I'm sure the shows are good. I just struggle keeping my attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone back to Billions. I'll say that. You haven't. Mm -hmm. Damn, you. every time I'd be like, shit, she made me want to watch that again or pick up where I left Billions, off. It was too. When I they, told you it was too that, traumatizing. When they got that kid Man. out of that mess that he did because he was rich, I was like, no. Mm. That, it was a huge it was yeah. a huge thing he did. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way. Yeah, mm. I, I think that was the thing that was uh, did it for me. I was like, well, I, I do not enjoy watching you rich white people. I, <laughs> Sorry. I remember you saying that. I, I don't. Yes. I don't. I remember you saying You know, that. because there's people in there in real that. life. And I'm like. Until I got like deeper in the season and they was really showing their They about to do some they shit. They really showing like. Billions. Yes. Like, no, we said billions. That is a whole nother. Life. Yeah. Mm. It's a different life. Uh, wow. Well, um, a show that I guess I can relate to a little bit with that would be um, Desperate Housewives. Okay, <laughs> <y 'all> I, <laughs> oh, okay. I uh, saw I saw an episode or two. Uh, that was like Tony it? Parker's wife, yeah, right? Eva Longoria. It it definitely took me back. I was like, damn, this was a time. This it was a, a time. This was watching this it was in what, real life. You know, the middle aged white people were watching for real. Not just middle age. Not it was just, a very successful show. But it was, it was you know. very Is that Shonda? Ooh. Somebody, Ooh. Who is it? Guys, it may not be Shonda. I don't think so, but you know, if so, damn. It is that same that time period as early grades. I think they all came out around the same That's time. That's why I was thinking probably not Shonda. I, feel I like think see, it's I was after. thinking HBO. Was this The Sopranos? 
I huh? forget um, who's behind Desperate Housewives. There's an Apple though. There's a what? The, I keep seeing an Apple. I think the name of the production company or something is like it that. Mark Cherry, American Broadcast. Mark Cherry, that's what it is. Okay. Mark Cherry. Okay. Yeah, that was a really good I'm show. Say, Damn, Shonda. Give, give me up. something like that. Give me, give me something that was like, that HBO. No, that was ABC. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I did not tune into Desperate Housewives. I probably saw a couple episodes. And yeah. I didn't hate it. But I didn't. I didn't hate it, I didn't it neither. And I did appreciate, you know, the nostalgia of watching it now. Yeah, I might have you know, to I run might, that one back. I might add that because I didn't see it before. Yes, yeah. right. Because when I got my hair done, you called me that girl. And I was like. Free band camp. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, look, if you know <laughs> anything about that show, mm-hmm. Brie and that the band camp, that girl had been through some things. But she On still, that show. I mean, they all really been through some things, but her like. Her kids specifically was really cutting up. And mm. she was like the ultimate Stepford wife. She still showed up. Like mm-hmm. you never, you never really saw her sweat at the beginning, especially. And then eventually she just didn't give it. Now, which one was she? That was the redhead with the flip. The red, okay. Yes. But yes, what I liked about that show was that, you know, you got these housewives. Yeah. And basically yeah, everyone yeah, be going yeah, through their yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, in the house, yeah. like in real life. And yeah, they, they just fun. fake the funk. And then eventually, like, you just can't. I think the first episode, and this is not necessarily a spoiler, but there's one housewife who commits suicide. This is like the first five seconds. And so a lot of the show, oh, and yeah, she's the narrator yeah, I forgot of the show. that was, yeah. So... Oftentimes, we're just trying we to figure out who. why she did it. Yeah. It was kind of like, you know, this is a perfect community. Why would she do something like that? She had the perfect family. And it's like, oh, like actually, kind of like oh, maybe not. And then you kind of see everyone else's thing. So it is a good show to to binge. I probably okay. will I'm revisit say, it. Gonna watch some okay. TV. And it's right. funny. Yes, we have. Let me watch some TV. <laughs> That's a fact. I've been watching some TV this weekend. I don't even watch TV like that, but I, have I haven't been, watching been able to some really, TV. really. Yeah. I am. I'm pretty deep on grades. I mm-hmm. kinda, well, Damn. I skip the COVID season and then <laughs> start watching it. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. Pick Did it get better? Watch. Was the COVID season with Deluca, or that was after Deluca? Uh, I think it was in there. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but I told you when I stopped. I'm just like, all right. It, well, mm-hmm. I actually don't remember. Don't quote me. Now that now that you say that. During the veteran Owen trying to do that shit. I can't re- I can't remember that detail. You always bring that up. Well, well, Owen was going to like where the veterans were and he was trying to like reopen their case or some shit he was advocating Because he's still for. doing it. So I can't remember. Like, I was like, y'all really, he ain't, he ain't got shit to do now. Because uh, I don't think he's the head of the, is it um, Bailey that's head of the hospital now? Chief of chief. Of chief of staff. Or yeah. whatever. Chief of staff. Chief surgeon or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. My bad. Is what you call still alive? Who? Brother man. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. Okay. Daughter still on there? Black daughter? Yeah. Okay. Damn. She's still married to my man? The black man. Yeah. <laughs> man, I mean, this yeah. is where I was at. This is where I was at with it. Um, Just, she okay. did get married to be, him. You must. You got to be like right before the season because she just got married. So that was it. That's when I stopped. You're not even far behind then. I don't know what we're talking about. We're not, but I oh, stopped. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, my if bad, you guys are still listening at this point, we, right. y'all are the real MVP. Uh, we just been talking about nothing, but I've enjoyed it. Yes. Yes, 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 this yes, 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 yes. This is basically us at brunch. So um, we're going to just go straight into a versus that I'm just going to throw out there on the dome. Okay. Um, so it's co- is Ime Udoku. Did I say that right? Yes, Ime. Ime. So we still haven't had any real... Developments come since the last time we spoke about the situation. I think Matt Barnes now has, for a second time, at least from what I've seen, kind of alluded to this being really, really, really bad um, in that it's not necessarily what he did, but who he did it with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we can take that however we're going to take that. Mm -hmm. Um, But there have been sources saying that Nia Long has said that she plans on staying and working it out with her man. So, y'all have any? That indicates that. Um, maybe something was going on, something happened where they on a break, or she, you know, didn't care. Maybe she do her own thing. Did her own thing in the past. That's why I need all the facts to come out. 
I mean, if you're gonna keep yeah, talking, if you're gonna keep talking, going but but if it's gonna <laughs> stay in the news as long as it's been in the news, yeah, I need some, I need some more facts. Give me all the facts. Well, I mean, I think for me, as long as the the information coming out is not from Mia directly or her husband mm-hmm. or Ime, whatever. I mean, it's going to keep doing its thing. It's going to keep growing and growing and they can't really control that. I'm sure both of them would like for this to like be done. But my thing is, it don't take that long for news to travel. What does that mean? I need it all out now. Why? (laughs) Because that's how fast news travels. No, no. That's how fast this travels. Like knowing the actual truth. I don't know if we've gotten the actual truth in in a lot of situations. As much as people talk though. In the past like five years. As much as people talk and we're going to get a million stories Mm -hmm. on what actually happened and what didn't happen. At the end of the day is what it sounds like. Mia is staying. He probably won't have a job afterwards. What's next? She got to get back to work. She going to have to go back working because Lorenz, the owners is not hiring Lorenz. him is what it sounds like. Hey, don't he got a show coming out? Didn't Power give him a Oh, oh, maybe, I, I don't know. But that's can... crazy. Okay. I you thought know, I they, heard they, 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 they Why they didn't they never end up together? Oh, oh, Lord. Maybe they did. And maybe they tried done. it. You know, there's a lot the of- chemistry in that movie was a little unmatched. You know, it's like <laughs> y'all didn't even try to date. Maybe they did. That's maybe, what I'm saying. Maybe it was less than that. Maybe it was more. I don't know. I think there's all these relationships that have happened in like old, old black Hollywood. By old, I mean like 80s and 90s black Hollywood mm-hmm. that we know nothing about. I just found out, and maybe I knew this before. I didn't realize. Uh, Gerald Levert. No. Uh, what's her name? Shantae <laughs> Moore. <laughs> Shantae Moore and uh, Dwayne Wayne were married. Dwayne Wayne. Yes, shantae has got a man at home. That was about that, him. I just learned Come about on. that. I just learned about that. Shantae and I Dwayne. Just, I just knew about her and Kenny. And I remember, I was like, maybe you know, I did Kenny came know. second. Yeah, Kenny Lattimore. Who is that? Kenny no, Lattimore. Dwayne. From a different world. Oh, Kadeem. Kadeem, okay. Yeah. He was also with Freddie. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, I didn't know that time. that was as, you know, intense as wait didn't the reunion come out or something they did get together for a reunion i think it's been 35 years since the premiere i have not seen mm-hmm. any specials if they have done that mm-hmm. but i did see kadeem and jasmine guy on the breakfast club um about a week or two ago it was actually a pretty good interview was it? jasmine is a trip i didn't realize she was like somebody she like the home girl she's like the, the crazy one. drunk auntie kind of but i don't know if she was well she was Dang, it was you made me want to watch well, that it was one. good i might watch that one but might, that I doesn't might. surprise me i've seen random interviews of her or just her responding to stuff and she was on some random show i don't know maybe some bt show i don't know mm-hmm. she's, okay. she's popped up on tv shows in different characters than that one that she played and it's like okay yeah she did the action yeah. pretty well she did yeah. it very very, very well. well yeah yeah um, she um talked well both of them talked about the show and like yeah. things in real time and the struggles that they had to deal with they talked about um lisa bonet a little bit yeah they didn't like her or something oh or that's she... not what i got they were just like they were saying that they somebody they being was the show gave lisa bonet hell yeah and, and that's like why she went that they and were... she got pregnant and then that's why she went and back she to the cosby back. well yeah. she left she did not like the way that she was being treated, but also Bill did not want the show to have a portrayal of a black woman that's pregnant, mm-hmm. not married, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's why it was college. mostly him that yeah. did not but it's real. show that. And it's she was, the reality. And she was saying she being Jasmine and Kadeem were thinking they were like, it would have been so dope if she yeah. had stayed on the show and they showed that because like sometimes that doesn't happen. And then she goes back and forth between right. that and, 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 and being and, a parent and, and the Cosby show. You know, she got to take the semester off. Got to have a baby. You write that into the script. That's a lot. They said that that could no, have been I a thing. I know. But, I'm, I'm just thinking, well, this is how I would have thought about it if I was in the writer's room. And I'm just thinking, who was just like, no single black mothers? Is that what Bill said? I don't know exactly, you know, verbatim. But if you even think about who Bill Cosby is, it's not really surprising that he wouldn't want that to be mm. shown on TV. And I get it. But, we, want, we want to portray positive light. But yeah, at the same time, you do have to make it relatable. Lenny Kravitz. Uh-uh. Oh. I'm not on the show. Oh. Her man on the show. Olivia. Um, oh, Dwayne. His yeah, name was Dwayne, too. Dwayne. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Martin, Dwayne Martin. 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 His name was Martin. The Navy man. Yes. His name was Martin. Why couldn't they have figured that out? 
Because honestly, he we, yes, she was, was a never step mama on the Cosby Show. You yeah. know, single black dad. What happened? His wife. We died. can show the single no. black. No, she was a lot. She, she just didn't want to be a mom no more. She wasn't a mom anymore. They met her. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah. that was the Thanksgiving episode. I love that episode. Okay. They had they had a few things. They had at least two or three. Well, they got a little. The pro- they the got egg. they you got a little progressive. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. She was there. Mm-hmm. Okay, my bad. She was vegan on the show, Denise. Yeah, I mean Denise had. A lot going They're on. They're progressive in she some sense. Was yes, they mm-hmm. were already doing a lot of things at the time, anyway. So mm-hmm. they might as well. Oh, I wonder should've. too if that was Cosby or if that was the actual actors being like, "Hey, maybe my person should da 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 da," like with the hip hop and Theo and I guess veganism for Denise because she was a vegan in real life. Like, mm-hmm. if they had any influence or if Cosby was just yeah. like, oh, "Okay, you you say you were what? Okay, I'm gonna tell them to put that in the script." I <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like they she may have tried. Maybe mm-hmm. I'm giving her too much credit, but she I feel like she was very vocal at the time. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was vocal in that sense too. Like I think Denise should do this as well. Or- yeah. Well, the interview was good. Y'all should check it out. They even talk about the wedding scene, like mm-hmm. and like getting through that and whatnot. So mm-hmm. wedding being uh Dwayne and uh, Jasmine. Whitley. Whitley. Yeah. Whitley. Yeah. So yeah, check it out. I don't know how mm-hmm. we got from this. Yes, from, been, oh, Nia Long. Long. Are you gonna date your boss or no? Right? Is that? Oh, uh, you uh, your no, boss's you wife. Your boss's yeah. wife or your boss's husband? I would. Are you? You're that. asking if that I is something I would do. do <laughs> I ain't trying to sleep with my boss. I would. I, I wouldn't be that bold neither. Could you, do, could you do your boss? <laughs> Well, one thing's I, for sure. I just would never even be in that situation. But go ahead. I'm not going to be the instigator, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not going to be the one that pursues the boss. You so know, if your boss never say ne- is getting way. on you. So I was like, either way. No. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say never say never, right? You know, who knows? Ten years from now, hopefully I'm, I'm not putting a position like that. Yeah. But... Boss's wife's gonna have to come to me. Okay, so I'm too scared. Solomon is a I'm baby. too scared. So, I'm too scared like, to do shit is, like that. But she Mm-mm. tries you, right? Let's say y'all was at some she big bad. event. She highly very bad. Amira, what's the girl? Amira Van. Amira Vaughn. Oh, Amira Vaughn. Yeah, she she bad, bad like her. And I'm single, and right? And you're single. Absolutely. Or actually, no. Actually, no. Because no. Wow. I no, I would not entertain that. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. I would not entertain Okay, that. so you're single. Like I said, if I'm single and it happens, um, Damn. she's going to have to be Y'all don't be caring about losing a job. So. She's going to have to step out on the ledge, okay? Because but no, no, no. <laughs> you said I'm single. She's looking like Amira Vaughn or Hallie. Whatever the fuck. She's... A bad my motherfucker. Your boss's my type. Wife. Your boss's. You wife. not even thinking well, like this. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all not. Y'all how, not how, how, how is my rela- how's the relationship with my boss? <laughs> Do I like my boss? Is my boss no. hella cool, or is my boss it an don't asshole? Matter. If my boss is an asshole. And she looking like that, Halle Berry. Da, 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 da. I'm single. I'm not gonna even say I would jump off the cliff, but okay, why? Because I can't have a. An affair with a fine woman? No, I'm yeah. saying that if what? my boss is an asshole, it would give I, me even I, more I, reason to think that he's trying to set me or they're trying to set me up to see if I'm like going to that's, take the that's, bait. That's some sick shit. I, I would never want to offer up my wife as a test to a nigga. Maybe she, yeah. maybe he's not doing it. Maybe she's like, you know what? I don't know about that that one guy you got. You think he's loyal? I don't know. Okay. We're gonna take that. <laughs> This is a made, this is a made up scenario. The games we play. Why, why can't I? Make, Come on now. Why can't I make <laughs> this up? How often is the boss's you know, wife hitting on y'all? They, they, they actually. Why can't I make this, up but, you know, the thing? This is the test. You're right. You could. You could. Um, Anything could it, happen. It, it, if that was a test, I'd fail. Clearly. Not 10 out of 10 times, but she might catch me lacking. <laughs> <laughs> you may catch me lacking that one day. Like, damn, you know, I'm down on my luck. I ain't really getting much play. Hadn't a bad day. She you know, saw me after a couple she of just, drinks. She and just, now we in the hotel. I can't, I can't say 10 out of 10 wow. times I wouldn't do that, but. I, I definitely, if it's my boss's wife, I'm going to do everything in my possibility to ensure that I don't make her mad. Wait, so you're oh, going to continue so, to... No, 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 no. Y'all on great terms. Yes, because I don't need that getting back to the boss from you. You know, but, 
<laughs> he'll have no fury. But she's gonna get he'll guilty. Have she's no gonna fury. feel guilty and she's gonna tell the boss. No, 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 no. You don't but have I'm a job. such a good guy. She's so invested. <laughs> and she's gonna take that what with her you to do the grave. For a living, everybody in the city knows. No, no, that's different. Come on now. But what are you saying? Comparing it to Eva. <laughs> I'm not going to piss her off to make her want to blow this shit up. No, but like it's her own conscience. A- yes. Someone's gonna be the A one miss. What's it Boyfriend called? number two. Boyfriend number two. You yes. Know, Look, she's gonna be in at the church shadows. with the family. The pastor's gonna give a message that's really gonna, you know, feel her. And she's gonna be like, I gotta tell you something. You know, I know right? Solomon mm-hmm. that we invited over for dinner a couple times. Y'all just wanna see a black man go down. That's cool. No, you <laughs> wanna <laughs> see a black man. You said <laughs> <laughs> Let's nah, say, but boss. also if you had a Halle Berry boss you had a Amir Vaughn boss uh huh if she approached you it's like hey, he closing that office door look now, now she's, she's my Solomon. boss now she's my she, boss she's yeah. boss okay you can do yeah. that oh, yeah, hell yeah you know what <laughs> she might get me she might get me to where I need to be down the road you know what I'm saying? Or, she's my boss. She might have connections. Or both like, of y'all, both of y'all fired. <laughs> so what we gonna do and now? And now your arch nemesis. <laughs> we is the head of department. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 man. Come on. I, I'd like to think that I'd have a little bit more professionalism than that. Okay. Well, but, um, yeah. I'm not doing either option. I don't, I could not. <laughs> I, I'm good on that. I clearly need a new job if I'm gonna right. do anything with the boss. I think that's the difference between men and women. Now I will say they make it real sexy on the shows and yeah. in the movies they make that, it real sexy that is not cute in real life in real life now people talk about you <laughs> yeah you know. maybe i might try to you know put my bid in on my way out that's okay different. that's different. but it doesn't have the same allure right yeah i'm fucking my bond you know I as opposed to, yeah she was my old boss so we started you know it's a fun story to tell later on down the line if you guys are no longer working together i guess and it works out right yeah. mm. it's one of those you know how'd y'all meet oh you know 20 years ago you used to be boss. Mm, right that's kind of cute mm. i guess well i work for her <laughs> <laughs> well i mean barack and michelle huh Mmm, Barack and worked. Michelle. I don't think he ever worked. He was for working her. for Michelle, huh? I thought he worked at the firm. I don't think he worked for Were her they directly. Like That's what you're saying. She was. I thought she had been intern- at the firm. Yeah, I thought he was, he was interning. interning at the firm. Was he interning for her? Because I, I or is that me making that. it juicier? Yes, that's what I, I don't remember. Like, I don't Either remember. way, they were crossing they, lines in a professional environment, and and it works. It worked. So she made that man president. Mmm. Didn't she? Maybe my boss will do the same for me. Wow. You know what? Okay, <laughs> hey, no, I'm just saying. Go take me where I need to be. We're going to end this now. Um, and also, if you guys are still listening at this point, we do hate to inform you guys that this is actually our second to last episode. We will be recording our final episode October 23rd. So make sure you tune in. Tell a friend. Tell your family. Whatever. Yes, we will have the final episode on the 23rd. And They're I guess probably, we'll do the... Uh, all the memories, all that. So you have yeah. all that, send it to us. We're going to go down the whole memory lane. It'll probably drop, I guess, October 25th. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we will not be recording any episodes until October 23rd. So... Homecoming. That'll be... That'll be... The week, the week of homecoming. Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so thank y'all. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.